God, 34 minutes with Chris Mack. The fucking song is so insane. The song is so fucking crazy. <laughs> it is so. Yes, like. <laughs> we're coming from like, my fucking microphone blows. I'm fucking peeing in the bathroom, worried that you guys are hearing me. You're sitting in your beautiful fucking hotel room with your beautiful lighting. And it's just like the screaming song. Anyways, why'd you do it? Look at you. Huh? So. Do tell me, how's life? Well, I don't know if you just, you know, but yeah, punch Chris right in the gonads. I don't know if you know, but my microphone might be broken. <laughs> and whose fault is that? Honestly, I, I, you know what's interesting? I wasn't even being that rough with it. I mean, I yank on my microphone. I'm like hugging it and touching it. I was standing up about to go pee. I didn't even really touch it. It just, I don't know what happened. And that is why I shaved my bits for this. Your bits? <laughs> Your lady bits? <laughs> so here's yeah, my lady bits. So here's a question for you. Uh, yeah. What is the strangest gift that you have ever wanted but never got? That's such a good question. Oh my god, the strangest gift? strangest are you gonna write this down because like i'm concerned no get that fucking pen out of here oh my god what's the strangest gift that i've ever wanted and i've never gotten the hell i don't know um that's what that was a question that they asked me today at this conference that i was at for for mental health and stuff and they were like, as a icebreaker, what was the strangest gift you ever wanted but never got? And I was like, what the fuck kind of question is that? Now I'm going to move my microphone. I don't need it. I don't need a comfort microphone. I do, but I, I feel naked without it. But okay. So wait, what was your answer? I can't I do it. answer because it's a stupid question. No, I think it's a good question. Tell me what, tell me what, music lover, tell me what your answer would be then. No, it has everything. Though, like, I wanted a monkey. I got it. A I monkey testicle? A paw. Oh, <laughs> do you want a monkey testicle? <laughs> you know, chimpanzees actually have really big testicles and really small dinglings because evidently they're all about just getting out as much as they can in a short amount of time. So it's not about the like the the robustness of the pinochle. But then um, like bonobos, they settle their disputes through sex and stuff. So um, they have like larger Pineapples. <laughs> and like I can't imagine how great you must have been on a first date with him. This is a great information for me. <laughs> we never even spoke. Jesus Christ. He didn't talk. Carly, what can I say? Fuck. Oh my god, okay. I thought that you were better. Okay, anyways, so wait, so what's the strangest gift that you would want? But you didn't get. You have to think. Nothing. I have everything. That I want. Uh no, then think outside the box. I want a box. No. You get boxes all the time. I used to, you, you, you literally used to be the shipping depot with the boxes all the time. No, I the want, I want a, mm, no, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to get a gift to give to a friend. And it's the strangest gift that, that this friend has wanted. And oh she God. is in the stream right now, a human skeleton. No, I, I do not get me a Would curse. you have a human skeleton? Do, no, I don't want a cursed human skeleton living in my house. I have enough fucking skeletons in the closet. Skeletons in the closet. Death Statics in Los Angeles saw a human skeleton for sale and she wanted it really bad. No. I told her I'd give her mine when I die. That's so sweet. She'll take good care of it. I know she would. No, honestly, I mean, like, with, with like, taxidermy stuff, I'm very particular. I don't like when anything's too taxidermy if you know what i'm saying i want things to be subtly you remember you remember henrietta my baby duckling that's in a little pink cauldron like that is delightful she has little flowers around her a little witch's hat a little broom she's this little brown duckling that i named henrietta like in a little pink cauldron yeah delightful fine but i don't like hardcore like i don't like so it when i'm like this person really has a face huh you want taxidermy, but only cute things. Yes, exactly. Exactly. You understand. Like, you absolutely understand. Okay. Why? okay. I mean, because then I feel like it's like, it's given it new happy life. 
given it. Shut up, Chris. Okay, what? Okay, what is something a gift that I, the strangest gift that I could ever want that I don't have? Not that you could ever want, but one that you wanted that you never got. Oh my God, this is so hard. Um, one strange. Nice cucumber. Strange is an interesting question, cause like strange, I mean like. I mean, I really, I don't know what's considered strange. Like, I obviously want that fu a fucking dollhouse. I talked to you about this already, but that's not strange, right? I feel like you want me to say I want like a fucking. You're right. You're right. A, uh, you know, mid thirties woman wanting a dollhouse is not strange at all. <laughs> that's not strange or creepy. A woman in her thirties with a jar of rubber asses that wants a fucking dollhouse. <laughs> that sounds completely mwah, <laughs> chef's kiss. That sounds perfect. Listen, I Nothing really like do. Saying, hey, I, you know what I really want? I want, a dollhouse. I want like not like a like a plastic one. I want like a Victorian, beautiful, giant dollhouse. But like also, I could also see um maybe like. Quick question. Yes. Where would you put this dollhouse? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't God, know. I do you ever I think I would think... put it in the smut shop. I think I'd put it in the smut shop. I have like, So you want a brothel? No, listen to me. It wouldn't be a brothel. I think I would want it in the smut shop because I have this one wall that has a slant on it and I can't hang anything on it anyways. But I could get a little table and put it in front of it. But it would be so stupid because like it doesn't do anything. Okay, but is that actually that weird? Because I don't think that that's strange. So it's a cello I, for Aiden. Oh my God, Converse. <laughs> that for Osborne? No. Who collects rocks? I collect rocks. Rubber asses, those. A smut dollhouse? Yeah, that's right. Right behind you is rubber asses. Um, I'll fist these asses right in front of you. You don't think I will? Listen to me. I would say the strangest would be probably, I can't think of anything else, but I also, I don't feel like a lot of things I would like are strange. Like, I don't think rocks is strange. Huh? Just you pummeling rubber asses in a jar like you just did—that was just amusing. I'll fucking fist those jars of asses. A smut dolls, yes. It's your emotional support my God. I can't listen to me. I, I, I need this microphone. Okay, I need to hug it. I need to be in front of me. Okay, so if that's okay, so the strangest gift I would probably say is a dollhouse, but I also wouldn't want it to be haunted. Do you realize <laughs> where you're going uh, soon for a trip? They go. Yeah, I'm in there right now. Do you're you in it. You're inside of a pussy. Do you do you realize there's a possibility that you and uh, that Aiden could get lucky in this exact same room? Gross. You're so. You know. You're really. I really need to know what the hell is you happening here. What the hell is going on? What do you mean? Jesus Christ! <laughs> First of all, how are you liking Big Ussy? It's all right. You know what? I'll say this. During the uh, before I came here, I talked. I saw Nair and talked to Nair, and I know you, know, you keep rubbing it in my like, fucking you can only face. Go for like three or four days, and Nair is correct. You can only go for three or four days. However, uh, I'm here for a bunch of days because it's a long conference. Uh, however, during the week when Vegas isn't like on the weekend, it is kind of boring as shit. Really? I must admit. Even at night. Yeah, it's just. Because it's just normal Vegas, right? It's not like people aren't like, not like rowdy sitting on the sidewalk and drinking booze. No, I did not see any of that when we were there. I was so disappointed. You did some of that when we were there. Yeah, I did not shit on the street. No, what? <laughs> yes, I, <you. laughs> I did not. <laughs> Don't you I dare start a rumor. On the street and drinking booze. So you didn't go to the booze part. You were like, I did not. I don't shit trust that you're not going to start a rumor, and I will not tolerate another fart pillow. Okay. Even better. That, think that, about how many times the that, previous owners. Oh, no. that, that's that's the rumor that you think people will start about you. She shits on the street. I could see it happening, and you know it's true. I could definitely see people starting a rumor that. I poop on the street of Vegas and they won't let me back in. And I'm going soon. Listen to me. But I would say who I, saw I was here. Who? Everybody. And you keep judging. You keep not judging. You keep making me jealous. Yeah, I saw I saw Death Stetics and her man eight bit bones. That's what I'm uh, gonna try to see her too. And I'm seeing there, everybody. So you keep rubbing it in my face all the time. I'm gonna see everybody. No, you're not. I am. You you are barely gonna get out of the airport by yourself. <laughs> I can do it. I can get out by myself. I can't. If, oh God. I'm I'm gonna be with a lot of adults. Okay, I can do it. 
I'm gonna be. I can't believe that. Like, Nair's like, you know what I want to do for my birthday? Babysit people. <laughs> you bitch. No, listen to me. I won't get lost or anything. I've already been there. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be able to. Yeah, I know everything. Been... Hold on. How many times have you been to Vegas in your life? What? So you're like, I'm good. I know I, the exact, I know I know the, exactly what every I'm doing. Layout. I'm good. All the buildings are almost connected. They're almost all connected. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> and there's like an underground network of tunnels, and I won't get lost in them. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, I have a question. Would you ever go into the catacombs in Paris? You would go down. You've gone down to the catacombs in Paris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You lying sack of junk. You're such a liar. You went no, down there. We, that's where we got engaged. You're so, no, I'm so tired. Tell me care. the truth. What? Tell me the truth. Have you actually gone down there? Yeah. No, I don't believe you. No, how, so how long were you down there for? 13 minutes. Are you lying? No, we went and well, you, can, you can take tours. No, but like you went down there. Why what is, is it? I don't believe you. What are you? What are you? <laughs> you eat tours down. I don't believe that you. They, yeah, they do tours, but I don't. I don't think anybody should go down there. It's so. <laughs> so they do tours for nobody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, were you scared? No. You weren't scared. That is the other thing that they mentioned at my conference. What is an irrational fear that you have? And I realized I don't have actually any irrational fears. Irrational because, fears is a good point because you and I both have health anxiety, but those are feel rational. Yeah, those are rational. That's rational. Because right? you have uh, health, and like, you're a human. Yeah. You know, I get a piece of carrot in my lung, and I think I'm gonna die. Yeah, <laughs> but like irrational. Like this woman's like, oh, going swimming with sharks is irrational fear. Yeah, it's irrational fear. Why would that ever be irrational? Why? That's not irrational. Irrational. That's uh, sharks are, pre are are fucking apex predators who are barely involved. They've been around on Earth longer than trees. Sharks really? are not a, a rational fear. So you're telling me if it's I just really lead you off a ship into a shark infested water, you're not gonna shit your absolute fucking pants. They send you in a cage. You're no. not just gonna swim with sharks. So wait, so oh oh, but swimming with sharks. So as long as you're in a cage, you'll be you're not scared. But if you're not in a cage, you'd be scared. So you're when if the great white. Cage, what sharks did you see? Aren't, <laughs> sharks aren't gonna kill me if I'm not in a cage. Really? Tell that to all the yeah, people I'm, eating I'll sharks. Because I'm quiet, and I just move aside. Unlike yourself, that would try and probably ride it. Ride it? Ride it? You're lucky if I wouldn't die of fear. If I saw sharks swimming at me in the ocean, I'm gonna die of a heart attack before that thing could eat me. I mean, like, it will just have my body. Just take me away. Fucking, I, I would fucking black out. And yes. this is your irrational fear. I don't think sharks are irrational. I think it's totally, okay, no, an irrational fear is like a fear of jello. There's a lot of people that have a fear of that. Is that is that a I don't scientific know. thing? I feel like they're good. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, an irrational fear is a fear of st no. I love Jello, particularly orange Jello. Orange is gross. <laughs> oh my god, why are we friends? I don't understand. <laughs> red Jello is the only Jello. Of course, Jello to you're go. gonna say red because red is fucking gross. <laughs> what? What color Jello is the best Jello? Poop coven. I want to know. Um, excuse me. I want to know what color because orange is the best and bl blue is very good. Red Jello can suck my whole ass cheeks. Green. You Jesus. realize that red and orange are probably the exact same flavor. Um, excuse me. Orange is orange, and red is like cherry. You believe that though? I do. You don't taste the difference. <laughs> are you really? Are you? <laughs> you don't taste. Yellow tamale. You, I, listen, I've sucked down a lot of Jello and I eat it in a really weird way. The cups of Jello, I eat in a really strange way. I don't use a spoon. Do tell. <laughs> Do tell. Oh. Got a really skilled Jello mark. <laughs> oh my God. I forgot. I haven't had Jello in so long. I've actually forgotten how I eat it. So weird. Ate it. So <laughs> Nair so nailed it! Nair nailed it! Yo, I literally do! You fucking just nailed yeah. it! I go, yeah. and I like, I like yoink the whole thing, and I go, and I like to squidge it in my mouth. 
I can't move. Yo, dude, what food do you eat weird? Nothing. No, you do. Weird like what, what? eating food. No, what kind of food do you eat weird? Everyone has something that they eat weird. Nair fucking knows me so well. You yeah, fart right in his face, Converse. Let him sniff it up. Give him pink eye. So what, what would you say? What would Nothing. I? Don't call me jello suckers. God, now nah, great. Like, you know why? I don't eat stuff weird. I just eat food to like live and eat. <laughs> and then and, you know, I, like, I like to eat food for you eat food like you're a clown. No, I eat food like I'm delightful and eccentric. <laughs> you eat food like there's a show going on. No, it's what if you I'm doing it by myself. <laughs> I'm alone sucking on a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know why? Because even you entertain you. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't. Sometimes I'm like, girl, <laughs> relax. Like, can't you just get a spoon? <laughs> but I can't. It's so much more satisfying. You have to try these things. You need to try yeah, to yeah. eat a I, quick I bar. Sure, I will make sure next time I have a cup of Jello to eat it like it's a <laughs> apple. It's no, do right a Twix. I need you to take a Twix, okay? <laughs> okay? I need you to take a Twix. I need you to bite the entire caramel off the top okay and then expose the cookie goodness and i need you to take the bottom i need you to eat the chocolate nibbles around the edge and then you eat the cookie last i need you to do that okay so here's what i want to do do it i me and you are gonna go and we are gonna go to the twix factory and you're gonna tell them how you eat it and you're gonna see how long it takes before you get kicked out <laughs> wait what? Wait, what about almond joints? <laughs> you need to rip the almond off, eat the chocolate on the outside, and then eat the coconut. <laughs> so you just so you, so you break it down to eating <laughs> almond and then joy. <laughs> you know who does that? Serial killers. I knew you were gonna fucking say it. Oh my god! You break it down to almond and the joy. <laughs> I like to have a side of joy, okay? I don't, I don't so, like so, so in your mind, in your mind, you think almond depressing and then back it up with some joy. I do. You're so right. I think the almond's the worst part. <laughs> you do. I know you, I know you so well. You think almonds are these fucking depressing nuts and then you're like, give me the girl after that. I don't, like, like, I don't want honestly, to. Honestly, I think almonds are good, but like, come on, shorty. Like, cashews are the best. <laughs> Cashews are the best nut. What are you, 70? What is the best nut? Oh, no, okay, don't, 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 don't. No, what, like, no, none of them. They're all the same. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> are like, your taste buds functioning? You do you realize what you have just asked? You have no taste buds. You think all nuts taste the same? Hello? Do you realize what you just asked me? And which that was the best nut? Yeah, you know who asked that? People at seniors' homes. Excuse me, something's wrong. We have an alien. On what the fuck? You think a cashew and a pistachio taste the same? Yeah, but they're all nuts. Nobody gives a shit. Are you out of your mind? Nuts are really good. Are you just pounding back the nuts? I do. I do. I eat cashews on the reg. <laughs> I agree with there. A good smokehouse almond is very good. I do like a pistachio on certain things like a cannoli. A pistachio cannoli is really good. It is good, but you're not explaining to me how you think they all taste the same. No, because you don't. You really, you really have breaking it down, are you? You're really you're sitting at home just laying there like cashew, the cashew, pistachio, almond. You're fucking tell me that if I blindfolded you, you could not identify which nut is going in your mouth. <laughs> that I know what you mean by one. Stop Depends what kind of party we're at. Telling me if I put a pistachio in your mouth and then a peanut and then a cashew, you're telling me you can't tell me which one it is. Yeah, you can, but, but. I need to hear what this butt is. Why do you care? Chris, you just asked the question that could be equated to everything in the world. <laughs> no, because, like, I, I love, I love that the one thing that got you fired up during this whole chat is nut talk. Because you're sullying me. They do not taste the same. Like, I never even heard anybody say that nuts taste the same. You think orange jello and red jello taste the same. Like, I'm getting concerned you for that. your tongue. You said that. I think you said that. Excuse me. 
Uh, pull the tape. <laughs> Poop coming. No, what I said was almonds are delicious. You said that orange and red jello taste the same. I think that was you. Chris said it. You slander her. See, this is what I, think, I mean. I he won't. slanders and he slanders and he slanders. Well, and I then he. Can they really trust you? <gasps> I have a pube in my eye. You're so lucky. I'm distracted. Yeah, exactly. Can I really trust this? Yeah, you can. Then listen with breath that is baited. Masturbate. <laughs> I love that you have a pube in your eye and you look like you're taking your my order at a drive-thru. <laughs> Speaking of nuts. I don't make me self-conscious of my You look my like you work at a Whataburger. Don't make me self-conscious. I don't like it either. Don't make me self-conscious of yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. flushing. <laughs> Not the Whataburger. Don't you dare. I, I feel hope. like both. Don't you I fucking hope. dare. We're gonna have all of these. We're gonna have a long list of these 34 minute things, and then there's this one weird fucking one with you looking like you're working at Wendy's. This is great. Stop it! Stop it! I don't like this! I don't like this! Not nice! I, I, it's not my fault! It's not my fault! My microphone gave up! It's not my fault! Sir, this is what I, I hate you! I'm so self conscious <laughs> Don't say that your microphone gave out. You yell into the fucking thing three, four times a week. Ugh, sir, I am very self-conscious of my little... Yeah, yeah, you I'm gonna... Don't say you shouldn't be, okay? This is not my fault. Shoot me this is Chili's. No, sir, this is a Wendy's. I, I'm, I'm not talking you. I'm not taking you. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not telling you. I'm gonna take serious nut talk from a girl like this. <laughs> Listen, you think I'm wearing a headset I'm, and I sell you food. You should take my nut talk seriously. I'm a professional. I'm talking to you and you're on the space station. <laughs> if the space station had a Wendy's. I really am embarrassed. I have seven years and I'm delegated to a little, answer. a little fucking, a little, one of these, a little stick microphone. Seven years I've put into this place. And my yeah. microphone ties. Listen to me, I'm embarrassed, okay? There's Arby's on Wendy's. Ugh. What's your favorite fast food? My favorite fast so food is Taco Bell. Oh God, we're done. <laughs> we're so just done. You and Dad's not supposed to be in heaven. Food? No, no I'm talking to you. You don't even like fast food because you just want to suck fries, lick fries. That's all you want to do is lick fries. And the answer to your question is McDonald's French fries. <laughs> yeah, you just want to lick fries like a sociopath. Suck French fries. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever sucked on them though? No. <laughs> do you, do you, are you, do you go to the, uh, I don't even understand. Like, do you have that low of sodium in your body that you need to just lick every fry and just give Aiden a <laughs> fucking warm, wet potato to eat? No, we, yeah. Suck on them and then give them the potato, give him the leftover. I mean, I eat it. Not like suck it on them, like, here, you finish it off. I mean, like, I'm fucking. <laughs> We're not like taking tokes of the front fry. I, I suck on them and I eat it. <sighs> yeah, because Aiden is embarrassed because he doesn't want to finish off your potato. Great. You know what? He would fucking do it too. <laughs> he would. You don't know how many times. Why are you so weird? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> I really think Wait, I came even, out this way, though. Even, even when we went out somewhere nice for dinner, I you're was like, normal. Although, don't, don't talk about the blue drink. <laughs> that's what I was about to say. Everybody's having a nice time, and then craziness comes in. Is like, can I have a drink? Just they make it beer, and then they have to go back. They poured Windex like, in that cup. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> they really did. They were like. I said, can I have a blue drink? And they were like, oh, this is a nice place. And I was like, yeah. anything will do. And they literally came back with like a beautiful cup with, I swear, like Windex and a splash of orange soda in it. <laughs> Here's your French fry, so moon. They looked, moon. At you. They, looked they were nice, though. Come back. Oh, God. They were nice. They had to come back and come back to the table and say, we talk to our people and we can make a blue drink. Because basically in their mind, you ask them, hey, it's my birthday. Can I have a big hat? 
<laughs> you son of a bitch. It's not true. Okay, listen to me. I really think that the world is boring. I'm normal. <laughs> okay, I think people don't aren't fun. <laughs> I think people need to be more fun. Why can't we have blue drinks? Why can't we have purple drinks? Why can't you know what fucking pisses me off? Why can't we have fucking purple cars? Why can't we have pink cars? Why is the standard boring? Boring. And then if you get blue, you have to pay extra or whatever. Okay, let's talk about your poop schedule for a second. Okay. <laughs> Here's what I'm doing. You ready? You wake up in the morning, you poop. <clears throat> Feeling Correct? like P. Diddy. Not P. Diddy. Isn't he doing something right bad right now? <laughs> There's a song. Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. But I think he's up to no good, that guy. So I don't know what I'm trying to do. Wow. Master I don't know what's detective. going on. This, I'm a master, master detective. I'm, I'm glad you're really hip with the kids. <laughs> Call me Detective Mustard. <laughs> I think he's really up to something, that guy. <laughs> Wait, time out. Wait, it, well, his name wasn't Detective Mustard. He was Colonel Mustard. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, what were you saying? Oh, wait. You what was you... poop. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't poop in the morning, usually. Sometimes no, I do. You poop at the night. You poop at night. Yeah. Right? But then it's like... Midday poop, breakfast poop, lunch poop. Are you checking your poop schedule? As you are you referencing your own poop, poop schedule? Why are you looking to the right? Are you cross referencing? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So here's the thing, though. No, wait. You why do you poop with such for like frequency? <laughs> I mean, like, I don't think you, you should know. poop four times a day. Like how so much what? like fiber are you eating? How much roughage? Like what are you doing oh, in there? I just, well, I'll tell you, I just had a lot of bok choy as I said somewhere, I don't remember. <laughs> they have a place here that just gives you a plate of bok choy with like a little bit of garlic sauce. It was very good. It sounds good, but also like, well, how many poops did you do today? Today, three. When do you make time for all this? I schedule it in. Do you, can you poop in public? Just out, just, just anywhere? <laughs> On the street of Vegas. <laughs> okay. No, can I mean, you poop like... If let's you got say six you're, bucks? Let's say you're in a communal bathroom. Can you poop? What, what, what like, you mean like a bathroom? What is a communal bathroom? That sounds <laughs> like they're all shitting in one group bathroom. A group bathroom, a group bathroom. Like a public bathroom. Yeah. You can poop in a public bathroom. Yeah, why not? What if it's a bad one? A bad poop? Then yeah. I'll poop anywhere. <laughs> no, no see, like, here's the point. I really here's have a thing. pube on my face, yeah. Great, great. That's, that's, that's <laughs> Sorry, great. it's really, it's like stuck on my face. Okay, what were you saying? Do you poop in public bathrooms? I have a lot of trouble, man. I really do. I hate yeah, it. Yeah, we heard about the bike story. <sighs> oh my God, you remember that? Thank you, wrong way. Maybe you'll squirt the pube on me. No, here's the thing. You remember the bike story? That was the worst. That was the one of the worst moments of my life. That was the closest I've ever come to actually shitting I all over my thoughts. No, I've watched the screen for like the... three years. <laughs> no, not the worst moment. It was the closest I've ever come to actually like full defecation in my pants on a bike. <laughs> like it was brutal. Uh, I was like crying. It was a moment where I like had to believe in something, a higher being. I was like, please, please. Okay, so let me tell you something. So I don't like pooping in public. I'll do whatever I absolutely gotta, but I, I do the flush method where I just keep flushing over and over. That's, that's what, that's, so you're just a girl that's like constantly girk, 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 flush, flush. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you because I don't like it. Not even like, and sometimes I don't care. And then sometimes I really care. I don't know why. <laughs> Sorry, Pew. Why would you care? You know, I don't know. Sometimes I care and then sometimes I really don't give a flying fuck. I don't know. It just depends on my, my vibe that day. You really think that you're going to go to your dentist the next day and they're going to be like, hey, or not you Oh that my girl? God, I got the pube out of my eye. Okay, sorry. What were we saying? <laughs> that is such a good feeling. Oh. That's like almost as good as taking your bra off after you wore it all day. It's getting a, a pube out of your eye that's been stuck in there and you have makeup on. I hear you. I hear you. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? saying. You know, that's a real pube in the eye. Yeah. And take your bra off. Take your bra off. Take your pubes out. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm are sorry. you gonna, are you going to gamble when you're in Vegas? I don't know. I'm going to try, but I mean, I can't I don't do a good job. <laughs> I I really, you're the worst. I really was like I didn't understand the Buffalo game you guys were trying to teach me. 
I didn't get it. <laughs> you don't understand a lot about just But you know what? The machines just do it on their own. So you don't really need to know what's happening. You just have to hit the button and just make sure you don't do max bet. Because and then you freak out even when it's not max bet because it's like 35 cents and you're just like, what are we doing? What are we doing? I'm going to oh, lose a house. What I are we nervous. doing? I get nervous. I have, you don't get nervous when you gamble? No, I don't care. Because I realize I realize I go in with a limit and then I'm like, I if I lose it, whatever. If I win, whatever. You know, everybody I've ever gambled with also like has this like, oh, I don't care. You, Nair, Braddy, Alicia, like everyone around me just like, oh, just whatever. And I'm like, I'm fucking shitting my whole asshole inside and out because I've lost 60 pennies. <laughs> yeah, well, me, Nair, Brad, all the rest. Alicia, a little different because she's in Newfoundland or wherever she is, uh, uh, Nova Scotia. And uh, so did you play slots with just like, and she wins fish? She won a lot. She kept winning. She was on a streak. And then she went into, and she did this old machine. And then she started to go, it went down south a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but winning a lot depends what you think a lot is. Because I know people that are like, we're winning a lot, but then they win like six bucks. No, she did pretty good. But also your Canadian money is like mob monopoly, make believe money. And it's like plastic and it doesn't count. Mob monopoly? It's literally like your your money is like a joke. I'm sorry. It's so cute and pretty, but it like how could anyone take this money seriously? It's literal plastic. It's pieces of plastic. Oh, yeah. Have you seen yeah. your Canadian money? It's plastic. Yeah. Have you put money in the laundry ever? Yes. My money comes out fine. How about you? You know what? Most of mine comes out fine too. <laughs> I do it. Also, oh, who has coins With that are worth the that much? From the laundry, you should buy a microphone. Because this, this looking like you're a service worker, is not helping. I'm being bullied. Excuse me. I need a, I need a parental figure. Ratty, nah, I'm being bullied. <laughs> I, I do love it. I do love it. I do love it that tonight you can. That's that can be your thing with Aiden. Like, no way. Look at this going down this dark path with you sir i'm not you're not oh, we're, we're not talking it. about role playing fucking being a mcdonald's worker right now okay they work hard and i i'm i Somebody i am embarrassed because i have a like i feel listen to me don't make what fun of me touching your microphone you can't oh i forgot you can like okay i forgot you can like actually hear me touching it <laughs> why are you hugging the microphone I want my old mic back. I have to hug something. I need something close to me. I need something to keep me. I need a buffer between me and your throat. See, this is the buffer. See all this? This is your shield. Without it, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I can fucking, there's nothing blocking me. You see these hands? You don't. They're going so fast. You don't see nothing. Yeah, you're, re you're real mongoose. You're quick like a mongoose you are. I just thought about how last time we did this, I asked you if you ever made eye contact with a platypus. That's, yeah. <laughs> now you're bringing up a mongoose? Listen, we didn't even talk about your initial question. <laughs> what's yeah, what's my initial question? The strangest gift. Yeah, and? I think it's Dollhouse. Do you think it's this friendship that we have? It is a gift, but I don't think it's strange. I think, I think, I think it's not strange, but I think you're really dumb. <laughs> Did I just sully you? Yo! Oh, look at fuck? this. I love it. Whoa! I mean, not, not totally not dumb, but you're just, you're just not used to humans I'm and, and, and society. I'm silly and eccentric. And you, you are sir. Oh, I am you eccentric. Are. What the fuck are you talking about? You, you, you are not a You oh. Thanks, wrong way. Real insult to injury over here, wrong way. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh my God. Oh God, 34 minutes with Chris back.